Hey guys, welcome to Wednesday Night Live. It is about 6 billion degrees, so I have my air conditioner on. But please let me know if that is too loud. If so, I will go ahead and turn it off. So give me just a second to get the comments pulled up. Please hold. Hey, Danielle. Is the air conditioner too loud? Please let me honestly know if you have trouble hearing me. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, so tonight, we're going to be using some primary elements. It is pretty loud. Yeah. Oh, here, one second. <laughs> I don't want to be screaming either, so... That's okay. No worries. If I start to die, I'll just, I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be using the Color Art Primary Elements. And um, these came with Vivid Polypore, which honestly, I wasn't too impressed with that, but I love the pigments. Um, <laughs> and, uh, these, so these are basically dry paints. You mix them with something like this, a <laughs> vivid polypore. Oh, this is an acrylic polymer blend. I'm going to actually try tonight mixing this with both Floetrol and with the vivid polypore together. So I'm going to Start. I haven't mixed anything yet. So I'm just adding a little bit of the polypore. And then I've decided on some colors here that are probably going to look good together. We'll see. And I do have a little bit of leftover paint that I'm thinking of also using. So we'll see. All right, a little flow trawl there. I feel like I'm going to end up mixing with way too much. I don't know if they would work with Floetrol only. I can imagine they would. But I thought I would try it with both. Just do a little combo. And then I might try it later with uh, just Floetrol. Yeah, the polypore is... So basically, this is a wet and dry system. When you have paint that's already mixed, it has a shelf life. But when you have it basically in a powder form, it doesn't have any shelf life. So this is not mica powder. It's not the same as mica powder at all, even though it does look like that. You don't need to use a lot of it. It's basically literally like a powdered paint. So you would mix it with a pouring medium. They of course suggest the Vivid Poly Pour. But like I said before, I wasn't like 100% impressed with it. So, oh, they do not work with Floetrol only. They have to have a binder. I would think that Floetrol would work as a binder. These spoons came from um, Color Art. <laughs> For good reason, you see. You need them to pour. All right, so I basically got a hot pink there, a purple, and a blue. And then this is an interference color. So it's basically like a pearl. And this one's the gold. So I'm going to get these mixed up. Yeah, if anybody has been using these, definitely let me know. I, like I said, I haven't actually tried these out in a while. And today I was just like, well, let's go ahead and put those to good use. I think also the last time that I did this, I, I used these, I used them also with um, 
some paint that was mixed with the deco art pouring medium, which I also don't really like. So I was like, it was hard to tell what, what I didn't like. Hot cinnamon is outstanding. I'll tell you guys the colors I used in just a second. I got a little excited with the medium, so I might need to add more of the powder here. I do have a 10 by 20 canvas. A cliff note version of what's going on. Um, we're just using some of the, the Color Art Primary Elements pigments. I'm going to add just a little more here. So this color is called Jasmine, and that's kind of a hot pink. And then this color, which I've definitely used before, is called Snapdragon. And even though it looks more purple in here, it definitely comes out more blue. All right, and then this blue is Majestic Blue. No, there's in here is Floetrol and then the Vivid Polypore. Vivid Polypore is an acrylic polymer blend. So it's basically the, the medium and binder for the paints, the dry paints. Yeah, so no, no other like acrylic paints or anything in here. All right. They do have gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And this time I was actually proactive and I put um, the link for everything in the description. At least pretty much. No, no silicone. Actually the last time that I used these was on a uh, on a video collab with Heather Mater. All right, and then this is Blingit Gold Pearl. This is one of the interference colors. Hey, Tina. So exciting news, guys. I am really close to finishing up my online um, acrylic pour workshop. I've been filming like all all day yesterday and then a full day last week. It's going to be actually a massive course so I hope there's a lot of you interested because it's quite a lot of work. Um, it'll be actually more extensive than even my in-person web uh, workshop. Of course I still think in-person is way better because you can actually like here you can't see the consistency as well over the screen as you can in person. It will not be on Skillshare, no. Um, I'm putting a lot of work in this and don't really want to give anyone else a cut of it, so I'm going to sell it on my own website. Yeah, so it's going to be extremely extensive. Lots, uh, so far I think there's like 13 lessons. Oh, good to know, Janice. Okay, look at this pink, Tina. That is bright. <laughs> okay, so in the cups is Floetrol and the Vivid Polypore, guys. I used probably, ratio-wise, one-fourth of the Vivid Polypore and three-fourths Floetrol. And then added, just added color one teaspoon at a time or whatever until I was happy with it. So there's your exact measurements. As you guys know, I don't exactly measure anything. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Tyler. Um, it's not done yet, Katie. You silly. I guess she's impatient. <laughs> Um, they, I just finished day two of filming yesterday. We still will have one more day of filming and then, um, 
then of course it needs to all be edited and put onto my website. I've already started putting some of it on my website, but you can't see it right now, not until the course is released. And I haven't fully decided on the price yet, but it will likely be around $100. Like I said, it's going to be a rather extensive workshop. And as soon as I'm done with that one, I will be working on doing a resin art one and then also a business workshop, an art business workshop. So I will definitely absolutely let you guys know when it is released. And yeah, so here we go. Okay. In this cup, I have some leftover white, black, and silver paint. And that's just my regular mixtures with Floetrol and water. Um, okay, and then the interference color, basically it's just uh, like a pearl color with a hint of another color. So there's interference red, purple, blue, green, etc. This is gold. So basically it looks like pearl, but in the light, it has uh, the gold color. All right. Oh, here we go. Here goes nothing. I have no idea what technique to use. Let's see. Maybe a traveling tree ring. Look at these bright colors. <laughs> Mad scientist, right? That is exactly me. Um, I'm not going to do a combo price for all the classes. Whoa. Because they will be filmed separately. I mean, maybe like much later in the future. But I mean, it is not, a, it's not like a fast thing to film one of these workshops. Um, it's going to be hours and hours of content with each one. Um, so the other two will not be done for probably months, but we'll see. We shall see. All right, here we go. Now remember at the end here, we have black, white, and silver. Okay, this is definitely not enough paint. So I'm going to go in here with some more. Which one of these is your guys's favorite? The pink, blue, or purple? That, I, I think I'm digging that blue. Okay. Pink. <laughs> All right, we're gonna just intersect over here. That looks really cool with the leftover paint that was in there. All right, hopefully that's enough. We'll find out soon. I'm gonna actually take the rest of this interference and I'm gonna just go ahead and Put it around the edge here. Does this one look white to you? Or can you see the kind of pearl color? You'll definitely be able to see it on the close up. Hey babe, welcome home. <laughs> It looks white on the screen. Yeah, it looks white over here on my screen too. Are so good. Is 
Boom. I love it. What do you guys think? Get my edges fixed up. We'll definitely be doing some more videos with these paints coming out soon. So I have so many supplies I need to finish using. Alright. Yeah, I'm very happy with these colors. Okay, let me just wipe off my hands and then we'll do a quick close-up. Okay, camera's gonna shake for just a second. Everybody close your eyes. Here we go. going wild and using all the products that's not even possible even if it was like one drop of everything so even on here you still can't really see the pearl can you it has like a little gold tint i like this really cool lacing over here look at that Such a hot pink. <laughs> there we go. All right, phone is going back. Close your eyes for a second. Okay, so I guess we have time for another painting. Let me just move this one to safety. really need to clear out my drying space. Okay. Oh, I also got something in today that I'm going to show you guys a sneak peek of. Yes, this has air bubbles in it, but they will pop as it dries. Let me rinse my hands off real quick. <laughs> so I saw somebody said that they stain your hands. No joke, they do. Just like the unicorn spit. <laughs> okay. So this is a secret. I just got this. I haven't used it yet. I'm not actually sure if it's even released yet. It was supposedly going to be released today, but I'm not, I actually didn't check if it was released yet or not. But anyways, look at this new mold I got. It is like the ultimate geode mold. Can you guys tell how big it is? like massive. Isn't that awesome? Anyways, that's from Just For You Online UK. So video coming out on that soon. And I think it was just released on their website today. It's really exciting. I'm excited. Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Isn't that exciting? Ah. Yes, Tyler, and I'm sending you a surprise in your package as well for being so awesome. Okay, I'm gonna use them the rest of these primary elements. I'm just gonna do a little baby. You know what, why not? Let's go ahead. My table's not clean, so it's a little risky. I don't wanna dip it too much, get dirt on it. <laughs> okay. Um, I suppose it could be for a table. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just use, yeah, I'll go ahead and use the same cup because why not? And then I, in this, I'm going to add some of the regular Artist Loft paints mixed with Floetrol and water. So here we have white. Um, let's go ahead. Okay, that's the rest of the pink. <laughs> I do not know yet, Tina. I will definitely let you guys know in the first video on it. I will be doing three layers of resin, I can tell you that. So I'm gonna do um, just a thin clear layer first. Then on top of that, I'll do the actual geode and then another clear layer, I think. That's what I'm leaning towards. I have been kind of dreaming about this. <laughs> All right, some black. And I did use up all that interference color, but here's some more blue. Ken's mom, I have not poured on a bone. I've poured on like fake skeleton heads, <laughs> but no actual bones. I also cannot wait to use this skin. That is pretty exciting. Okay. So I'm just gonna add a little more white. And then I just did a traveling tree ring. Would you guys rather see how this comes out as a flip cup or a wreck -a ring or, or, or? Hmm. Or I could pour over one of my little stars. I actually cut off the bottom. So that could be cool. <laughs> or, or, or. <laughs> I don't want to give you too, too many options. Okay. Flip cup, flip cup, flip cup. Turkey pour. Ooh, that's an exciting option. Ring. A figure eight. Star, star. <laughs> Okay, we were definitely going towards the flip cup, but now we have more stars, I think. Let's see. Flip, flip. Okay. I think we're going to do a flip cup. A ninja swipe. I don't even know how to do a ninja swipe. Star or turkey. All right. We're, well, we're going to do a flip. We did a flip. Flip a flip. Okay. Here we go. Do we think we're gonna get cells? I don't know. Just for funsies, let's go ahead and torch it. This torch was so clean.
Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Looks like a space creature. All right. This shall not do. Hmm. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. But it's not my favorite by far. It does have some really cool lacing in the white there. <laughs> uh, I got I got you, Veronica. Swipe. Well, it does have any silicone in it, so I think a swipe will not do too much. Needs pink. I did put pink in there. The pink hid. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's see. We're gonna salvage this. I have a bit more paint in my cup. <laughs> All the pink did disappear. That is correct. Let's go ahead. We're just going to pour over this. Why not? There's no rules. Some of you might get mad. That's okay. <laughs> AC words. I'm going to use pink. Just the rig. Pink. String pull, that could actually look cool. If you put down a layer of artist lock white and put a line of primary elements, it will fractal like crazy. Good to know. Good to know. I am gonna just go ahead and do a little pour over this. I might even do the star because I got pretty excited about that actually. Okay, where did I put it? <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Here we go. The star could also be a stamp. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> do whatever makes you happy. I love that answer. So in the cup, I used the paint that I already had. Plus I added some gold, black, and pink. So it's gonna look nothing like it already looked. But that's okay. And I didn't do a full cup of paint because obviously we already had paint on the canvas. That is a beautiful star. Okay. And I don't intend to fully get rid of that outside paint. So I'm kind of going to see if I can sort of have this blend in ish. Almost there. Okay, I think I am in love with that. Did get rid of a lot of the outside paint, <laughs> but it's still there. And it definitely helped to shape this painting. So I know a lot of people are kind of hesitant to keep working it until they're happy with it, but I'd rather do that than have something I'm not really happy with. And we shall call this one Tiger King. <laughs> All right, I'm going to come around and do the close up. <laughs> My hands are really crazy now. <laughs> All right. Camera is going to shake. Everybody close your eyes for a second. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so we've got a little corner here. I gotta touch up this side. <laughs> You're funny, Heather. 
Definitely not pink. Loving my gold. Yeah, that outside runoff will make some amazing skins as well. And I will have a new skins video coming really soon. Just been a little behind with schoolwork for the kiddo and getting the class filmed. So what do you guys think? I personally love it. Okay, camera's going back. Close your eyes. Don't shake. Shake, shake, shake. There we go. Okay. Definitely more videos coming out with the pins as well. Okay. So I'm definitely not the world's biggest pro because I haven't done like all of my experiments with it. So I'm going to try to get definitely more experiments done. All right, guys, that is all I have for this week. I really appreciate you guys joining me. And as always, let me know if you guys have any questions and I will see you all next time.